Hey everybody, happy Sunday to you. I wanted to share this word before I go to church and so it won't be long, but what it is is you have to heal the trauma in you in order to fully receive the word that God is trying to put into you. And the reason why I'm saying that, because some of y'all probably like, wait, like what you're saying? The devil uses trauma. He uses the trauma that has caused you to feel insecure, unworthiness, you know, that you're not lovable. You know those things um, that comes from childhood trauma, just life, things that people have spoken over you growing up, even in your adulthood. So the devil uses that and he keeps you in a cycle. He keeps you from knowing who the truth. He'll try to keep you from knowing who the truth source is. So like, say you feeling unlovable. He will try to have you searching for love in the wrong places with these different guys or these women. If you're feeling unworthiness, he'll try to make you prove your worth to people. When God already died on the cross from you, for you, I'm sorry, for you, you didn't even have to do anything. You was a sinner and God died for you. God sent his son to die for you. So that just shows you that you were already worthy. You don't have to prove your worth to anybody. Nobody else has to deem you worthy. God already deemed you worthy, but what the devil is, he'll try to keep you in this cycle. He'll try to keep you in this cycle. And for real, he really would. And he did me like that. That's why I think it's been like three or four years since I left my church in my hometown. In Birmingham, yeah. And I left because I was hurt. And um, instead of me being able to be planted and instead of me being able to be planted because I had so much trauma in me. Yeah, I was on fire. I was bringing my family to church. I was bringing other young kids to church. But as soon as I got hurt and my trauma started dealing with me, I couldn't stay planted because my trauma was sticking more than the word of God that was being put into me. So I'm so thankful. I think it's been like almost three years. I'm so thankful that even though God allowed me to leave, he helped me even though I left, but he kept me enough to where I was able to heal that trauma on my own. But now, now there's no war because it's going to always be a war. It's going to always be a war between what people have spoken over your life and what God is putting into you. It's going to be a war as long as, as long as you have that trauma in you. That's why it's important that you heal from that because that way when the word of God when God starts speaking things into your life, it's going to stick because you can go to therapy. You can, you can, people can reassure you of whatever it is that you're feeling. If they can tell you, hey, you are lovable, you are worthy, but it's not going to stick. The word that's going to stick is from the word of God, y'all. It's the word of God that's going to always stick, but it can't stick. But if you have so much trauma in you because the devil is going to choke it up, he's going to choke it up every time. He's going to send people in your life to make you forget who the source is. That's just how the devil is. But when you hear from that trauma and you start sitting with God and you let God's words stick in your heart, it ain't nothing that the devil can plant inside of you that's going to stick because the word of God is going to always drive it out. So, yeah, like I said, I'm getting ready to go to church. I love y'all. Y'all have a blessed Sunday. Spend time with your family and your friends and make sure you work on that trauma. Peace out.